China has just catapulted its space capabilities to new heights by launching two groundbreaking high-resolution radar satellites, Siwei Gaojing 203 and 04. These aren't mere technological upgrades, they're revolutionary tools set to transform disaster management, urban planning, and environmental monitoring. In this video, we'll uncover how these satellites operate, why they're a game changer in Earth observation, and what this means for the future of global surveillance. Get ready to explore how China is reshaping our understanding of the planet from space. On November 25, 2024, China marked a significant milestone in its space exploration journey by successfully launching two advanced radar satellites, Siwei Gaojing 203 and Siwei Gaojing 2004. These satellites were propelled into orbit aboard the reliable Long March 2C rocket from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China at precisely 7.39 a.m. Beijing time. This launch represents the 547th mission of the Long March rocket series, underscoring China's sustained commitment to expanding its presence in space. The Long March 2C is a liquid propellant rocket developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology. Renowned for its versatility and dependability, it's capable of delivering payloads into low Earth and Sun synchronous orbits, making it ideal for deploying Earth observation satellites like the Siwei Gaojing 2 series. The satellites themselves are state of the art pieces of technology. They're equipped with high precision phased array synthetic aperture radar SAR payloads, allowing them to capture ultra high resolution images of the Earth's surface with a remarkable resolution of 0.50 meters. This level of detail enables the detection of objects and changes on the ground with unprecedented clarity. One of the key technological advancements in these satellites is the use of third-generation gallium nitride GAN transmit receive modules. These modules significantly enhance power efficiency by increasing power output while reducing energy loss. This means the satellites can operate more effectively over longer periods, maximizing their mission lifespan and data collection capabilities. The SAR technology employed allows the satellites to perform all-weather, all-day imaging. Unlike optical satellites, which depend on sunlight and clear skies, SAR satellites use radio waves that can penetrate clouds and are unaffected by lighting conditions. This capability is crucial for continuous monitoring and rapid response, especially in areas prone to adverse weather. The launch of Siwei Gaojing 203 and 04 is a critical step in constructing China's ambitious SuperView NEO satellite constellation, managed by China's Siwei Surveying and Mapping Technology Company, Limited. This constellation aims to establish a comprehensive global observation network by integrating a diverse array of satellites with varying capabilities. The SuperView NEO constellation plans to consist of 28 satellites, including 16 high-resolution optical satellites with resolutions between 0.2 to 0.3 meters. These satellites are designed to capture extremely detailed optical images of the Earth's surface, suitable for applications requiring precise visual information. Four wide-width optical satellites offering a resolution of 0.7 meters and a swath width of 100 kilometers. These are intended for broad area imaging, enabling large regions to be captured in a single pass. Eight synthetic aperture radar SAR satellites, among which the recently launched Siwei Gaojing 203 and 04 are included. These SAR satellites provide high-resolution radar imaging with a resolution of 0.5 meters. The integration of these satellites is strategically planned to offer an unparalleled combination of optical and radar imaging services. The optical satellites provide high-resolution images during daylight and clear weather, while the SAR satellites fill in the gaps by offering imaging capabilities regardless of lighting or weather. Adding Siwei Gaojing 203 and 04 enhances the SAR component of the constellation, significantly improving China's ability to conduct all-weather, all-day Earth observation. The satellite's ability to operate in tandem through formation flying optimizes their coverage and data collection efficiency. This synchronized operation ensures that critical areas can be monitored more frequently, essential for timely decision-making in various sectors. Furthermore, 
the use of advanced technologies like GAN transmit receive modules not only improves the performance of individual satellites, but also contributes to the overall efficiency of the constellation. These technological advancements allow for higher power output and reduced energy consumption, enabling the satellites to carry more sophisticated instruments without compromising their operational lifespan. China's commitment to expanding the SuperView NEO constellation reflects its broader ambitions in space exploration and technology. By building such an extensive and technologically advanced network of satellites, China is positioning itself as a leader in remote sensing and Earth observation. This constellation will provide valuable data not only for domestic use but also has the potential to offer services on a global scale. The deployment of the Siwei Gaojing 203 and 04 satellites brings forth a multitude of applications set to have significant impacts across various sectors, both within China and globally. Equipped with advanced SAR technology, these satellites are poised to revolutionize the way we collect and utilize Earth observation data. Natural resource management the high-resolution imaging capabilities enable precise monitoring of natural resources such as forests, water bodies, and mineral deposits. This data is crucial for sustainable management practices, environmental conservation, and assessing the impacts of climate change. Urban safety and infrastructure planning, urban planners and policymakers can leverage the detailed images to monitor urban sprawl, plan infrastructure projects, and ensure structural safety. The ability to detect minor changes in the urban environment helps in proactive maintenance and development efforts. Emergency response and disaster management. One of the most critical applications is in disaster management. The all-weather, all-day imaging capabilities mean these satellites can provide immediate assessments of areas affected by natural disasters like earthquakes, floods, and landslides. For example, after a flood, SAR satellites can penetrate cloud cover to map inundated areas aiding in rescue operations and resource allocation. Maritime Surveillance The satellites enhance maritime domain awareness by monitoring ship movements, detecting illegal activities such as smuggling or unauthorized fishing, and observing oil spills or other environmental hazards. This contributes to maritime safety and security, not just for China but for international waters as well. Agricultural Monitoring Farmers and agricultural agencies can benefit from the detailed imagery to monitor crop health, plan irrigation, and predict yields. Early detection of issues like pest infestations or drought stress can lead to timely interventions, improving food security, environmental monitoring, and climate research. Scientists can utilize the data for tracking deforestation, glacial movements, and sea level changes. This information is vital for understanding and mitigating the effects of global warming and environmental degradation. The strategic significance of these applications cannot be overstated. By enhancing its remote sensing capabilities, China is not only bolstering its own national interests, but also contributing valuable data to the global community. The ability to share or collaborate on Earth observation data can foster international cooperation in addressing global challenges like climate change and disaster management. In this video, we have learned about China's launch of the Sui Gaojing 203 and 04 high-resolution radar satellites and how they signify a major advancement in space technology and Earth observation. We explored the details of their launch, the sophisticated technology they carry, and the vast array of applications they will serve from natural resource management to disaster response. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.